Welcome back to Crawford Clark Close Up and the next of our television reviews. 2020 marks the 30th anniversary of Rowan Atkinson's comic creation Mr. Bean, the largely silent, bumbling, gurning funny man who has tickled the funny bone of fans the world over. The genesis for the character came when Oxford student Atkinson was asked to perform a skit. He hadn't written anything particular, instead finding himself practising comedy by standing and observing himself in the mirror and fooling around with his facial expressions. Atkinson was also inspired by Jacques Tati's Monsieur Hulot's Holiday, which demonstrated a comic attitude and a setting that he admired, a concept that would be drawn to its full extent for the second of the thus far two Mr Bean feature films, Mr Bean's Holiday. Atkinson himself regards Mr Bean as an, in, an unintentional anarchist, causing chaos in trying to make his own life work, with the mentality of a nine-year-old boy. Bean will fall along with the rules as long as they suit him. Beginning in sketch form, Bean was turned into two feature films released in 1997 and 2007 respectively, after the television series concluded in 1995. In this video we'll be sharing our top 10 favourite Mr Bean sketches. Before we do so, let us know your favourites in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel at the top of the page. Come and find Crawford Clark Close Up on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. You can also drop us an email with suggestions for future reviews to crawfordclarkcloseup at gmail.com. You can also now find us on the movie app Letterboxd. Just search CC Close Up. We begin our 10 with an uncharacteristic moment of pathos for our protagonist, as Bean's beloved Minnie gets crushed at a school fair demonstration. Not only is Atkinson good at the gurning faces, he can also display genuine emotion as he looks on in disbelief. At number 9, it's probably one of the more lesser known sketches to feature on our list. Bean is taking part in a sponsored silence for comic relief from 1991, whilst he's at a police station reporting that his car has been broken into. The policewoman is played by Matilda Ziegler, who will later play the parts of Bean's girlfriend, Irma Gobb. Number eight is another comic relief sketch, this time Bean meeting Scylla Black as a contestant on 90s show Blind Date. It's a funny sequence that features Bean on unusually chatty form. Number seven is the sequence from Mr Bean in room 426. Bean is taking a trip to a seaside hotel and after a bout of food poisoning manages to get himself locked out of his hotel room. The only problem is that he's naked. It's an amusing sketch that ensures you keep watching till the end to see just how he'll get out of this situation. Narrowly missing out on the top five, we have Bean on the diving board at his local swimming pool and then losing his swimming trunks. Angus Dayton cameos in another brilliant sketch that forms part of one of the earliest episodes of the series, The Curse of Mr Bean. Into the top five, we start with Bean taking himself out to a posh restaurant to celebrate his birthday. He writes himself a birthday card and dines alone. Seems like a sad premise but not quite, as Bean quickly orders steak tartare and decides it's disgusting, so tries to hide bits of the steak wherever he can in the restaurants. The sketch also features a cameo from the late great comedy star Roger Lloyd Pack, more famous for his work on Only Fools and Horses and The Vicar of Dibley. And number four, we have a moment that would probably be at the top of most fan favourites lists. Bean is about to host Irma Gobb for Christmas lunch and things are going positively smoothly. That is, until Bean manages to get the turkey stuck on his head. It's a brilliantly conceived and executed sequence. Number three is another sequence to feature Bean's girlfriend Irma, played as straight as possible by Matilda Ziegler, as Bean gets scared watching A Nightmare on Elm Street at the cinema and resorts to acting like a buffoon in front of his bemused girlfriend. Atkinson plays some brilliant visual comedy in this particular sketch. In second place, Bean ensures he gets to the January sales early after a disappointing New Year's celebration with Rupert and Hubert. The problem is he's bought too much in the sales, so he has to sit on the new armchair strapped to the roof of his Mini to drive home. The sequence is short but very sweet, and was even revised as Atkinson drove through London as Mr Bean atop his Mini once again in 2015 to commemorate the 25th anniversary of the character. 
So our number one goes to the dentist sketch. Bean skips his alarm, so he's rushing to get to the dentist in time. He gets dressed and brushes his teeth whilst driving his car en route before managing to anaesthetise the unsuspecting dentist, played by the brilliant Richard Wilson, while he's messing around in the dentist chair. It's a fabulous sequence that ranks as our personal favourite for the largely silent buffoon. So, there we have it. From the moment Atkinson's Mr Bean falls from the sky in the opening titles, each episode of the television series, each one-off charity sketch, and both the Bean movie and Mr Bean's holiday have entertained audiences around the world and continue to generate new fans every time the comedy is repeated. There's something universally pleasing about the infantile, calamitous Bean and Rowan Atkinson's characterisation and facial expressions that has ensured its longevity. I was lucky enough to grab a picture with Rowan and Atkinson in London about a decade ago when he was appearing in the West End production of Oliver as Fagin and the man is a consummate professional committed to his craft. It might seem to the casual eye that Bean is one of the easiest characters to perform but beneath the surface this is a nuanced creation that stood the test of time. Happy 30th anniversary Mr Bean. What are your thoughts on this character? Are you a lover, hater or somewhere in the middle? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below and if you enjoyed this video come and subscribe to the channel at the top of the page to ensure you don't miss out on any new content. We're approaching October which can only mean some more Halloween horror reviews. Look out for our thoughts on the Friday the 13th franchise, and we also have a celebration of the 40th anniversary of The Shining coming soon. In our next video, we'll be looking back with a 30th anniversary retrospective of Back to the Future. For now, thanks for watching, and until next time, that's a wrap.